Greetings, true believers. This is JAR369. Welcome back for another figure review. Today, I'll be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Disney Plus Wave She-Hulk from She-Hulk Attorney at Law, made by Hasbro. Well, take a look at the packaging. You can see the window exposing the figure and all her accessories. You get the old She-Hulk logo instead of the, the one that is recently used in the actual show. Probably just because Hasbro bro, got the, um, the She-Hulk title from the concept. I hate when toy companies just start using concepts for the uh, figures. Anyway, on the side, you get the image of the character. On the other side, same thing. You get the She-Hulk logo, Infinity Ultron, Warning, Choking Hazard, and Recommend for Ages 4 Plus. On the back, here's the bio. Pause the video if you want to read it. Other figures, so that's about it. Let's take out She-Hulk out of the package. Here is She-Hulk out of the package. Let's take a closer look at the figure. Take a look at the head sculpt. Well, the likeness is a really not too bad. I know in behind the scenes, it's just like the, it's just a, a model doing for She-Hulk, but I'm pretty sure they plastered the actress's face onto, onto the, onto her head. But yeah, it's still really not too bad looking likeness to the actress. Yeah, not too bad at all. Not too bad. Yeah, it's really, a, really not too bad at all. Uh, take a look at her hair sculpt. Yeah, I see they did really a not too bad a job with her hair. You can see uh, some green all over her. I mean, come on, because she's she Hulk. I'm pretty sure Bruce has hair, has green hair, right? I don't know. I might have forgotten. Well, some well he does have like black hair normally, but not on she Hulk though. Well, I'm guessing she does have black hair in the show. I totally forgot about it. And now I'll take a look at her outfit here. Yeah, I'd say they did a really not too bad of a job with her outfit. I'd say they did a really a painted job with her. You can see some texturing detail. You can see some texturing all over some areas. Like the sleeves areas and the short areas. Uh, there's nothing much I can say about the figure. She does have like some sculpted muscles a little bit on her arms. And you get the, her hands opened up. You can either display her with her, with the clapping hand, or you can display her with, you put her on, you put her hands on shoulders doing that one position from the post credit scene. Ooh. Anyway, back to the figure. Anyway, nothing much on the legs. You can see some of the sculpted muscles there on the legs there. And you can see she is wearing her her shoes. I don't know what type of shoes these are, to be honest. Le comment below what type of shoes these are. And on the bottom, there are some legalese and two pegos on the bottom of her feet there. Overall, for the figure itself, it's a really a not too bad looking figure, I would say. Yeah, this yeah, the figure looks really a lot better in an action figure form than it was in the TV show. Well, personally for me, the CGI was like a bit wonky, some scenes, but overall, I really do like the show for me. But for the back to this figure, it's still really a not too bad looking figure, I would say. Articulation, there's a head rotation, well, a little bit, but there's like a, well, like a little ball joint underneath it there. Arms do go fully rotate, does go in and out. Upper arms rotation, double jointed elbows. And the wrist do rotate, hinge, chest rotation, a ball joint there. Legs kick forward and back, in and out. Upper leg rotation, double jointed elbow, I mean knees. Almost kicking her own behind. And the ankles do go pivot forward back and ankle pivot side to side. So yeah, very poseable articulation, standard Marvel Legends articulation, but you can still give her some crazy action pose abilities. Accessories, she does come with interchangeable fisted hands. I really wish Hasbro gave us more accessories, not just a fisted hand. Maybe some interchangeable heads, like one smirking, 
smiley head dash that we see in promotional images in her She-Hulk form and and the more angrily look head. That'd be really cool. Well, since she is part of the Build-A-Figure Infinity Ultron wave, she does come with the left leg of Infinity Ultron. So let's bring out the body. Let's... Ah, there we go. Much better. There you have Infinity Ultron. Well, sort of complete. I need to, to buy more figures. I'm pretty sure Infinity Ultron will be well a little bit well a little bit taller than She Hulk, and probably taller than the rest of the Bill Figure wave. So yeah. Overall, for the figure itself, it's a really a not it's a really a great looking figure. I would say. Articulation standard Marvel Legends articulation, but you can give her some great action pose abilities. The likeness to the actress who played She Hulk, I say they did a really a not too bad of a job with her head sculpt there. The sculpting on the figure looks really good. And for the accessories, I really wish she came with more than just fisted hands. Like I said, like the interchangeable heads be more better. But at the end of the day, I'd say this figure looks really good for your Marvels, for your MCU collection, or your Marvel display shelf, or if you're a big She-Hulk fan, then yeah, this is a must like a figure for your collection. For some, for, for regular collectors, I would recommend to some collectors for this figure. For my rate, for me, I'll give her uh, probably a 9 out of 10. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please consider like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. This is the Marvel Legends Disney Plus Wave She-Hulk from She-Hulk Attorney at the Law. Made by Hasbro. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on my next review. And remember, keep on collecting.